Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing another ballet body workout. You guys really seem to enjoy the last one that I posted, so we are doing version two today. It is a ballet inspired workout, full body, no equipment, low impact, so there's no jumping. This top and bottom set that I'm wearing today is from an activewear line that I sell, so I will link that in the description box for you below. We're gonna go ahead and start with warm up. So legs are very wide, toes turned out slightly. We're gonna turn the head to the side and then drop the chin. It goes down and up, down and up. Just loosening up the neck. Turn the nose from side to side. Three, two, and one. Now from here, it goes left, center, right, center, reaching the ear toward the shoulder. Four, three, two, and one, tuck the chin, roll it down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. Again, down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, and down, articulating through the spine, roll down and up one vertebrae at a time. Again, down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. Two more times, just like this, and up, Last time, all the way down, a little deeper, and up. Good, from here, you stretch up and over to the side, then we rotate to flat back. Drop it down to that leg in the center, other side to come up. Again, reach it over, rotate flat back, drop it down, swing around to the other side, and come up a little faster. Reach it over, flat back. Drop it down and up, over, flat back, drop it down and up. Good, reach, rotate, down and up. Yes, reach, flat back, down and up. A few more here, you guys, really warming up the upper body, the arms, the back, waking up behind the back of the legs. Once more, each side, reach, flat back, down, and up. Last time, reach, flat back, take it down, and up, great job. Arms come out to the side here, turn the toes out all the way. So we're gonna do a side lunge. You bend the right knee, reach up and over, left arm high, and then come back to center. Reach it over, and up, reach it over, and up, use the core as we lean to the side, arms make an S shape and then come together in the middle before extending back out to the side. Good, legs are really wide here. We're not going too fast. I want you to really sink into that thigh. We're starting the first round of the workout right here. Outer and inner thighs, using the glutes. It goes four and three. A little deeper, nice and controlled. Last one, we're gonna come down and hold. Wrap the bottom arm around the waist. Lift the heel and lower. Heel up and down. So we're holding that lunge position. You'll start to feel the thigh. Burn and shake right here. Good, lift and lift. Let's go eight, seven, six. Hold those abs in tight, long spine, four, Three, two, and one. Heel down, stretch all the way up, other side. Arms out to second. Reach it over and up. Reach it over and up. Keeping the chest lifted, shoulders pressing down away from the ears, sinking deep into that thigh. Your weight is in the left heel as you push up. So good, you guys. Eight more here. Can we get a little bit deeper in that thigh? Big reach up and over. Let's go four more here. It goes four and up, three and up, two. And last one, hold it here. Wrap that arm, heel lifts and lowers. Lift and lower, up and up. Good, sinking into that thigh as low as you can. Hold those abs in tight. Go eight, seven, 
six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, stretch all the way up. Walk those feet in, awesome job you guys. I'm gonna head over to the bar. If you're at home, you can hold on to the back of a chair, back of the couch, countertop, whatever you have. So here we're gonna be working in second position, legs wide, toes turned out. We're gonna be in plie with the knees bent. Now, showing you from the side, imagine you're sliding down a wall so your back has to stay straight. Do not drop your chest and stick your butt out. Okay, so imagine wall is right behind you, gotta keep that chest lifted even as we're shifting the weight, okay? So here's the movement, face the bar, toes turned out. You're gonna plie, point and reach to the left, then plie, point and reach to the right, and then you're gonna do two where you lift the leg, plie, lift the leg. So it goes plie on the floor, plie on the floor, plie, lift, plie, and lift. Your leg does not have to be that high. You can keep all these toe points on the floor. You don't have to lift that leg up. That's optional, and of course, depending on your flexibility level, you can lift it low, you can lift it high, up to you, but this is our cardio section right here. So I want you to give it all your energy. Really get that heart rate up, and really lean to the side. As you lift that leg, we're using full turnout, so kneecaps are rotated toward the ceiling as much as you can. Great job, you guys, keep it going. Plie, point, plie, point, take it down down, up, two more. And the last one right here, plie, point, plie, point, down, lift, down, and lift. Awesome job, you guys. Okay, you stay at the bar. I'm just walking over here so you guys can see what I'm doing from this angle. We are gonna be working that booty. So elbows on the bar, take a step back away from the bar. You wanna make sure you're pulling your belly button toward your spine and keeping the back straight. Don't let your stomach drop down and don't arch your back up. So you have a nice flat back. Okay, so both elbows on the bar. Take a step away from the bar. You're gonna pick one foot up, bend the knee, and then soften the standing knee so that it's slightly bent. Here's the movement. We're gonna kick the leg out to the side and then to the back. Now, if kicking the leg straight to the side bothers your hips, your modification is to keep that knee bent don't extend the leg to a kick, okay? Just keep that 90 degree angle. All right, so here we go. Take it out and in to the back and in to the side and the back. Good. Now when you extend that leg to the side, squeeze that side booty. When you extend to the back, the kneecap is pointing down toward the ground. Out and in, out and in, it doesn't have to be super high. Especially on that lift to the side, you guys, you can keep it as low as you need to. Again, we're all working from different flexibility levels. A few more here. Keep that standing knee slightly bent the whole time. Try not to move the upper body and the hips too much, just that leg. Two more, last one. We're gonna hold it straight to the back, right here, and pulse it, two, three, four, just a couple inches up and down because you're squeezing that butt. Squeeze, 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 four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, lower down. We're gonna go right into the other side, soften the knees, bend that leg. Here we go to the side and in, to the back and in. Kick it out and in, out and in. Again, remember that modification is to keep that knee bent as you lift it to the side. Keeping our abs engaged. Now I always get this question, you guys ask me, is it normal when I do glute work like this to feel it in the standing side? Yes, that is totally normal. That leg is working so hard to support you. Okay, so you'll feel it, sometimes I'll even feel it more in my standing leg than my working leg, it just depends, okay? But no, that doesn't mean you're doing it wrong. Keep this going, a few more here. Remember to squeeze the glute as you lift that leg every time. Three more here. Two. And one, hold it to the back right here, pulse it up. Two, three, four, squeeze that butt cheek, hold the abs in, shoulders down away from the ears. Good posture, you guys. Almost there. 
four, higher, three, two, and one. Lower down, bend the knees, and then roll up through the spine, release the lower back. Awesome job, we're gonna come down to the mat for abs. So go ahead and lie all the way back down on your mat. Legs out long and arms overhead in a circle. I'm gonna show you two different levels. So the modification is to roll up into first position with the arms and lower back down, keeping the legs on the floor. If you wanna make this more advanced, you're gonna roll up as you lift the legs, fingers tap underneath, and then roll back down. Okay, so you choose lift the legs or keep them on the mat. We take it up, up, and down, and down. Roll it up, up, down, down. Whoa, lost my balance there for a second. Good, now as you roll down, make sure that you're not slamming your legs and your back down to the mat. You lower with control. If you guys need to take this at a slower tempo, that's totally fine as well. Keep this going. Roll it up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Four more right here. Keep breathing in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Two more. And last one, you know we're gonna hold it right here. Arms go long, we're gonna swing up and over to the right and left. Right and left, up and over, up and over. Good. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lower those legs down. We're gonna flip over and do a plank section. So come on to all fours, hands under shoulders, knees under hips. Roll the shoulders down and back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. We're gonna step back into plank here, straight line through the body. Take your front leg and cross it over the back leg, right here, straight leg with a pointed toe. You go up to downward dog, lift the toe to the ceiling, and then lower back down to plank. It goes up, up, down, down, up, up, down, down. Now if you need a modification, don't do this on one leg. Just keep both feet on the floor, that's totally fine. You're still gonna be working that core. Not too many, we have three more right here. Two. Oh, and you know we're gonna hold it. Right there, hold it up, toe to the ceiling, pulse that leg, squeeze and lift. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more, hips are high. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good, lower that leg down. We're gonna switch sides, back into plank, cross the opposite leg over this time. Push it up for two, and down for two. Up, up, down, down. So good, you guys. Keep this going, keep the abs engaged, belly button pulled toward the spine, shoulders pressing down away from the ears the whole time. Four more right here. Three. Good, stay strong. Two more. Awesome, last one, hold it up right here. We're gonna pulse that leg, squeeze the butt. Pulse it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, lower that leg down. We're gonna drop the knees, take your bottom back to your heel, rest in child's pose. Just taking a quick stretch break right here. Go ahead and roll on up through the spine. And we have round two, you guys. You have got this, second round. We're gonna go ahead and start in the center, back in with our side lunges, legs long, toes turned out. Roll the shoulders down and back, arms out to the side. We bend that right knee, reach it over and press up. We reach and press. Weight is in the heel as you push up using the inner and outer thigh. Good, nice graceful arms. Keeping that chest lifted, shoulders down. Reach and lift, reach and lift. So good, you guys, keep this going. Let's go four more. 
three, a little deeper, two, and one. Come down and hold, wrap that bottom arm around the waist, lift the heel up and down, up and down, up and up. Good, keeping the weight in that right thigh. Eight more here, go eight, seven, six, five, push, four, three, yes, two, and one. Stretch all the way up. Going right into the other side, reset that posture, arms out to second. Bend the left knee over and push it up. Reach it over and up, down and lift. Good, pretty graceful arms here, you guys. Keep that back straight, chest lifted. Can we go a little deeper into that thigh? So good, you guys, keep it up. Go for four and press. Three and press, two, and one, come down and hold, wrap that bottom arm around their waist, we lift and lower that heel. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, stay low on that thigh, you guys. Whew, thighs on fire right here. Seven, six, five, four, three, stay low, two, and one. Press it all the way up, walk the feet in. Awesome job, heading back to the bar. Legs wide, toes turned out to the side. Again, we have our second position plies. Roll the shoulders down and back, both hands on the bar. We're gonna plie, reach up and over to the left and point the toe, and then to the right, and then plie, lift the leg, and plie, lift the leg. It goes down and point, down and point. Take it down and lift down and lift again plie point plie point get low in those thighs lift low and lift yes keep this going four more right here good keep the turnout from the hips three more Two more. How's that posture? You're standing up nice and straight. Last time, right here. Down, up, down, and up. Yes, awesome job. Whew. Take a deep breath. Again, staying at the bar. I'm just heading over here so you can see. Elbows on the bar, take a step back. Bend the knees, pull one heel back, kick it out to the side in to the back and in to the side and the back now again that modification is to keep the knee bent as you lift it to the side you don't have to add that kick good belly button pulled in toward the spine shoulders pressing down away from the ears actively squeezing those glutes as we extend the leg squeeze squeeze yes keep it going Four more right here. Out and in, out and in. Three, and push. Two, and push. Last one, you know we're gonna hold it to the back. Little pulses, take it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight more. Go eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Higher two, and one. Lower down, other side. Again, soften the knees, this time bend the other leg, kick it out and in to the back and in to the side and the back. You can keep that leg as low as you need to, especially on that kick out to the side. How's that booty feeling, you guys? On fire. Keep it going.
We have four more right here. Four and push. And three and push. Two. And last one, get that like up behind you, tiny pulses. Pull it up. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, you guys, squeeze that booty. Four, three, two, and one. Lower all the way down. Bend the knees, rolling up through the spine, one vertebrae at a time. And back onto the mat, you guys, we have our core section again. All right, so go ahead and lie all the way back down on the mat. Now remember, the modification is to keep the legs on the floor. Arms overhead, we roll it up for two, and down for two. Roll it up, up, down, down. Awesome job, when you lower down, try to lower the back and the legs at the same time, using control. Excellent job. We have four more, up and lower, and up and lower. Yes, nice control you guys. Last one, we're gonna come up and hold right here. Reach the arms out long, up and over. Two, three, four. We're getting the sides of the abs, big twist. Twist and twist, eight, seven, six, Five, good, four, three, two, and one. Good, lower those legs. We're gonna go back into our plank. Last series of this whole workout, you guys, power through, you've got this. Roll those shoulders down and back, step back into plank, straight line through the body, cross that leg over. You guys ready? Here we go, hips go up, up, down, down. Reach that toe to the ceiling and lower with control. As you come back down, make sure you're getting into a true plank position. So straight line through the body. Good, but keeping the chest lifted up and away from the mat. Are you squeezing the glute as you lift that leg up? Two more. Last one, hold it up. Squeeze and pulse that leg. Two, three, four. Eight more here, go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that leg down, come back to plank, other side, cross that leg over, lift it up to downward dog. It goes up, back to plank. Lift it up and back to plank. Nice job. Come back to that solid plank position every time. Four more. Keep control. Yes, two more. And last one, we're gonna hold it up. We have our pulses. Take it up. Two, three, four. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yes, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Lower that leg all the way back down. Drop the knees, take your bottom to your heels. Walk the fingertips forward, stretch in child's pose. And we are done, you guys. So good, excellent job today. Take a nice little stretch. I'll link my stretch video in the description box for you below. Go ahead and roll up through the spine. Thank you guys so much for working out with me today and I will see you next time.